Okay, welcome to my session called Multipurpose Form Component, uh, the form library of Switch Knife of Joomla. I'll start by a short introduction, and uh, after that I will be talking about making forms with uh, the red form compared to um, the old-fashioned way, uh, coding, and using red form for payment, uh, making using it for a small shop, and uh, how does it work with Joomla? And I'll show you how it can be Im implemented in uh, other Joomla components like your own. And um, I'll show you some examples where Reform is used in uh, some live sites. First, an introduction. My name is Michael Madsen. I'm um, working at uh, Red Component in Denmark. I'm uh, what my boss would call a middle ender. I'm um, working with front ending, making templates for Yuma, and um, I'm moving towards being more of a back ender, uh, making more components and modules. My Yuma experience is, isn't that large. I started working with Yuma back in August, so I'm quite new at this. Uh, both the front ending and uh, the back ending of Yuma. What's this session about? I will show you what Redform can do and um, some of the the things it can be used for, and um, show you some of the the components we have and how they use Redform in um, in the order for it to work. So, what needs to be coded to have a form? You will need some uh, HTML code. You will need the the form input. And uh, if I show you the example one I've made, this is uh, this is pretty much the formula used in in many of the websites today. You have uh, the name and address, zip code and phone number, and the email address, and a short message to send to uh, to the owner of the site. So if we look at the code in HTML, we have the form tag at the top. And uh, we have the link over to PostPHP, just a server-sided uh, language. I chose to use this uh, use PHP in this example. And we have some input fields, um, which are just like I showed you in the, the form. We have uh, the name and address and zip code and phone. And uh, at the bottom, we have the submit button. So when you push submit, you will go to the PHP code. And in this example, I set up that some field was required, and, um, and I chose to to use PHP to check if the fields actually have some data uh, when you submit it. And um, here you will actually you I I put all the data inside the message, and I basically just email it towards uh, the owner of the site. Uh, in this case, me, and. Um, printing out a message to the website saying it's been sent if uh, it actually did. And if they didn't um, enter any data where I want them to, it will tell them to enter it. And here is uh, example two, which is a pretty uh, large form much more complex than the others, where I also use some radio buttons and check, uh, check buttons, which would take a lot more code to, uh, to make uh, compared to the other one. Where we, like in the other example, we have uh, all the checks if the data is, has been entered, and uh, we set a header so we can send this email in HTML. And I put all the data inside the message, and over here, I, uh, I put it in variables so I can use it for setting it inside a database if, uh, if you need that. And also, like in the other example, it will email the, the data to the site owner. So I would like to show you how this is made in red form. So you give me a second. Mm.
Okay, if I go into the form, uh, the component read form, you can start by making a new formula. Where you start by entering your name, you can make it as a contact form. If you want to show the form name and uh, what access you need uh, in Joomla to access this form. And you can put a CS class on it if you need to style it more than the standard styling. And you can s choose to uh, to um, enter a start date when it should be public to the to the users at the website. And if this form has an expiry date and when it should expire. And you can uh, choose to set it to um, use capture so a bot or spammers won't uh, just send endless for uh, endless contact forms to you. So I will save this form. Oh, I need to go back. It also has uh, under notification. You can select um, if it should select uh, display a notification after you have um, submitted this form. And I will just type in submit it. And you can choose to redirect to another URL. Or uh, if you'd like to inform the contact person, that would mean the owner of the site or something else, you can enter their email here. I'll just type in. And if uh, you want to send the, f the data to the user who submitted this formula. Thank you. So now we, we need to put some fields onto this formula. I'll just start by making the, the example one I made, which was basically name first. And you select the form we just made, and which field type in this case is just a text field. And you can choose to enter tooltip if you like. And if this field should be required or a unique field, in this case, it's not necessary to use a unique um, unique field. It could be useful if uh, you're using a formula for a competition or anything like that, and you can set it to be a unique email address, so the user would only uh, have the um, can only submit once. So I will say save. Just make an email as well. And in the field type, we need to choose email, so Joomla knows that this is uh, the field for email, so it knows that on the notification, if we set it to email the, um, the submit user, it knows that this field is the email field, so we use that email. Yes. And we need address. And at last, a message. And the submit button with the will uh, al uh, always uh, automatically come under the form. So we go back under forms, and out here it says tag, and we need to use this tag to uh, display the form. So I'll just copy that and go back into uh, Article Manager and make a new article, call it Contact. Just put it into Uncategorized and set in this tag that was just copied and save this article. And I'm going to make a menu item which will link to this article. Select the article and call it contact. So if we go back to the site, 
there should be a menu item with a link to this formula. And there it is. And as you can see, uh, the standard styling here will put these uh, alert buttons here, which means that it's required. And that's one of the differences between my example and this one. In my example, I didn't have any JavaScript at all, which um, will automatically be coded here. And that's how quick you can make a formula. Um, so if I go back into the, the PowerPoint, I'll move on and uh, show you how you can use red form for, for payment. Um, you can just use the, you can actually use it for making a simple form which you can sell one product or you can like we just made a contact formula you can, you can put some input fields on and put some payment into those. Uh, I'll just show you. So if we go back into red form, under the formula, we can go on the payment and activate it. Oh, just select some currency as well. So now if we go in on the fields and would like to make a new field, we can like make a field called bike rent. So if this contact formula was, uh, for example, for this hotel, they can choose uh, when you contact them. It could be uh, that you would like to book a room or a conference room. You could like say, would you like to rent a bike with that uh, or an extra bed or whatever you would like. And, um, you have to use it as a price, right? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, I see. Select so, like, there's a checkbox where we can add some uh, values called yes. and the price would be 50. So we also need a, a no button for this. That's like zero cost. So if we go back and look at the formula, We have this check boxes at the bottom called bike rent, and if we put yes, you can see the total price is 50, and uh, if you say no, it's zero. So you can add a lot of fields, larger room or whatever you like, and and it would it would take all the prices together, and um, eventually you would have to pay it. And if I move along into payment gateways. We have several gateways you can install, uh, like a plugin and uh, use for it form, like PayPal. And um, in this case, I've installed um, a gateway called ePay. So if I fill it out, all the required fields. Total price is 50 and submit it. It will come to so say that the uh, um, yeah, pop up blocker is, uh, is on, but uh, it would open the payment view. And if I open it, in this gateway, it will open this payment. And you can select which card you would like to use. As so this is in test mode, it's already have the information. A bit slow. and you can accept your payment. And you can enter, in red form, you can enter some text being displayed there if the payment has been a success and or if it failed.
So how does it work with Joomla? You would need the red form component for uh, the things I just showed you, making forms, uh, payment or whatever. And when you install red form, it will al also in install a, a plugin, which uh, is what it needs to work. So if we look at some of the code in the plugin, we have this uh, function called unprepare content, which is a standard for uh, standard function in uh, Joomla, which is is run every time an uh, article is loaded in Joomla, it will run this this function, and it's used here in the plugin. There, when it runs, mm -hmm. it runs this function called process, and if we look down here, the function process is here. First of all, it checks if the component is installed because it's required, or if it's not, it will return false, or else it will uh, it will include this, the component and um, and load some things in, load the language, and uh, eventually it will locate the tag we inserted in the article, and if it finds it, it will it will replace this tag with the formula like I showed you. Implementation in all the components. Of our components, so we have Red Event and Red Booking, which uh, both of them can be used with Red Form. And I would like to show you an example how this is, uh, how we made it. We go under administration. This isn't the fastest internet. Come on. Basically, Red Event is a component used for setting up events where people can uh, join them and see where they are located over Google Maps and much more. So if we go into Red Event, I've set already set up an event. So if we go into this event, On this side, I already have uh, the form in uh, red form. So if we look on the form, we can see that we can select which form we want to use um, f for uh, the user to, uh, to submit into this event. And we can uh, select which fields um, which should be used uh, to show in the user list in red event. And these fields are being uh, imported over from uh, red form. So here on the submission type, this is the, the type you, how you can uh, submit to these events. You can select to, to use uh, different types. And uh, if you would like to use red form, it, you just uh, insert this, f this tag and w it will use the form you have selected under form. So if I go back to the site, we have uh, the event menu item. which uh, are showing the event we had in the red event. And if we go under the registration for this event, you can see that the form who is in red form is uh, selected here. And uh, I have added some extra fields um, from home. And you can see this is the price for the event, and uh, I've added some of the this like catalog and bike rent, like I showed you. I added this to this form, and if you select to that you will like it and uh, rent a bike, it will also add this price to the total price of this event. 
So this is a way that you can use it in your component. You can import the, the forms in your component, select the, the fields and use it like you, you would like to. And if I go back to, to the code example here, red form plugin, you can see this, that this function on prepare event is actually a form, uh, a function called from red event, which uh, are you doing it the same as uh, the one uh, running in articles. So basically this will do the same, load the form in, and you can use it wherever you like in your own component. So I'd like to show you some examples where this is used in, uh, on some live sites. We have LeBug, which is a company who makes uh, security shoes, safety shoes. I think I'll just load all of them. It's taking forever with this internet. Yeah, you can style it like you want. Uh, you can add a CSS uh, class on it and uh, just. That's all I mean. What I mean is, uh, I want the form to be spread over two columns with fields in the left column and, and other fields in the right column. Is that possible? Um, I'm not sure. Can you, can you help? They will get their own ID when you add them, so you can. Yeah. Can I make a form which which captures data and store that inside of my own database tables? No, not at the moment. But it, as uh, when you have those uh, submitted, you can. Um, on the red form, let me show you. It will automatically be stored here on the submitters, and uh, you can filter it by which format you would like to be shown. But, but how is the data stored inside of the database? Is, is there one record in the database which holds all data fields, or does each data field have its own record in, in the database? Um, just to take a look at the data fields. Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, exactly. Well, yeah, but that's why, like, the, a lot of the newer components just have lots of plug-in 
events that way. Yeah. The rest of us can extend it to do whatever we use it as the base, and then extend it to do whatever we, we want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does. So what happens when you uh, go back and change the form? Uh, you see, uh, each, uh, each form table is a form, and then you have all the submitters on the uh, submitters uh, table. Mm -hmm. So uh, what happens if once, you, once you create a form, and then you decide to add a field? Does it also take the table then? Um, yes, then it uh, creates a uh, Creates the values, I guess. Uh, it creates it under fields and uh, attach it here on the form ID, which uh, which form it's using. Okay. But if I go back uh, here on the the side LeBoc, you can see under contact. Oh, this is slow. Basically, they're just using a standard formula with standard styling, so much not much in it. But uh, this uh, IBC courses are making a lot of uh, courses you can uh, submit to, and they have um, pretty large form, which would take a pretty long time if you needed to code it in uh, by hand. And this is also done in red form. Basically, I think the mask is also using pretty standard contact formula. Yeah, also standard styling as well. I think it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it checks uh, if it's a valid email. Yes, that's, uh, that's a lot of different, uh, uh, we check a lot of different things. Uh, yeah. So that's basically the end, and does anyone have any more questions? Uh, I didn't notice that. No? But we can try doing it uh, again. Oh, yeah, he's asking if uh, he noticed that uh, there might be some critical security uh, issues, that the critical uh, the, the credit card number was in uh, the URL. We can try making a... We'll try to make the to buy it again to see. Yeah. So. I mean, it should come uh, now. We have a key yeah. and an ID. Yeah. 
But that's also the key. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. It's got X in it. Oh, it's got yeah. There's a part of the credit card number. Yeah. So that's not too bad. It's pretty standard as part of the credit card number. Or else you will have a very big problem. Yeah. Um, and another thing was that in the demonstration that you did of the standard HTML form, I know it was just a, a demonstration. Yeah. But you had absolutely no um, um, verification of or, or quoting and stuff you put into the database. No. So you were Cross-site cross scripting issue. Yeah, yeah, it was a very basic uh, example, just uh, putting it in the, the database. Yeah, so I see that, and I see that's not all the time as you have extensions, and it really scares me. Yeah, uh, okay. So I, I hope and pray that your actual code is better than the demo. No, it, uh, actually, the, the the code to insert it in database wasn't like you would have done it in Joomla. It was just basic uh, PHP, MySQL stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. No, basically we... Like, after the form is accepted to carry out a certain action to, I don't know, uh, maybe give them membership to another, or rights to another component after they've paid or anything like that? Yeah, you would, you would be able to do that, but I, I can't tell you how uh, I, I didn't build this uh, component, but you would be able to use it however you like. There is like a, a plugin event that you can use to do that? Uh, no. Not uh, not exactly. No. You would have to uh, see how it's done in in Red Event or Red Booking. How uh, how they're using it. So. After the submitted, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 You can do that. Um, looking at, yeah, she is asking if there is a backend uh, view of all the submitters and if you can export them. They are here on the submitters, and you can uh, basically choose to uh, export it as a CSV file. So that's all your columns with all of the submitters? Yeah, all, all the submitters, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Um, as a basic form components, it, it's, it's got all the basic functionalities, but to be honest, if I compare it with, with other commercial extensions like R Force Pro, uh, that I, I have to include that R Force Pro is, uh, can do way much more. Uh, what are the future uh, plans for this extension? Uh, I, I'm missing quite a lot of possibilities to insert my own scripts before display the form, uh, submission handling after display the form, uh, the way I can insert uh, specific JavaScript entries on each of the individual, individual fields. Um, so, yeah, if it just compared to, to, to this other component, um, this thing has to grow, I think. So, what are your future plans for this? Well, I don't, I don't know the uh, the other component you are mentioning, but uh, would you like to uh, talk about um, what the, possi the the future possibilities would be? Do you know uh, what we haven't? Yes, we are we are trying to develop this component. Um, on redcomponent.com. So if you're having any suggestions, um, you just have to to um, create a thread on redcomponent.com and tell us what you want uh, want this component to do, and then we will we will add this functionality. Um, that's the way it works. Um, yeah. Any 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 suggestions? We will we'll try to implement them. Um, Yeah. <laughs> um, what URL does the form submit to? Does it submit to option equals 
Conroy form? Or does it submit them to the page that it came from and then get pulled out by a client? How does that work? That's a very good question. <laughs> Do you know that, Yanni? No? No. I can't answer that. Uh, well, you probably will the URL. Yeah. Well, it's not, I don't think it's coming back to the, where it came from, but we'll just try to... Uh, yeah, he's asking what uh, URL it's um, submitting to. We can try to take a look. Oh. Yeah, right there. Yeah. So how does it govern where somebody's taken next? I mean, What do? Have you got a thank you page? Yeah, you you can uh, enter some text or uh, or enter another URL you would like it to redirect to after you submit the button. Any more questions? Yeah. I don't think we have a free version, do we? No. Excuse me. Uh, we have, um, we, I think we have three, th two different um, types. Uh, let me just check. We have the, t the, I think it's included in the 12 months and 12 months pro. Uh, is it, uh, let me check here. Uh, it's also in the three month and you can see the three months uh, is uh, 29 euro f uh, for a year. Yeah, that's how all the components. Yeah. All in uh, Sorry, you know, no offense, man. Where's the focus? Is this red form a new development that you just added to red booking? I see a lot of events uh, stuff. No, it's not a, a new component. It's uh, one of our components. But like the other components, it's in development all the time. Uh, we are implementing new functions. Our core, red form? Uh, that would be a red shop. Red shop. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Any more questions? No. Thank you. <laughs>